The British economy grew significantly at the beginning of the year. Congratulations there. And after two weak previous quarters, Great Britain is exiting recession and economic optimism is slowly returning. The British economy ended its recession with surprisingly strong growth at the beginning of the year. The gross domestic product increased by 0.6% from January to March compared to the previous quarter as the ONS Statistics Office announced in London in an initial estimate. Analysts on average had expected a lower increase of 0.4%. That was the strongest growth in almost three years and Great Britain is therefore exiting the recession as expected. In the previous two quarters, the British economy contracted slightly twice in a row and thus slipped into a technical recession. Economic output is now 1.7% higher than at the end of 2019, that's the last quarter before the outbreak of the corona pandemic. It has undoubtedly been a difficult few years, as uh, Chancellor of the Exchequer of Finance Minister Jeremy Hunt said of the figures. But today's growth numbers are evidence that the economy is full healthy again for the first time since the pandemic, he says. Great Britain had to struggle with the economic effects of the corona crisis for longer than many other countries. And this is now good news for British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak that this happened. The Conservative and his party are far behind the opposition in the polls. And looking ahead to the next general election, Sunak has made the economy and a return to growth the central issue. Both the large service sector and the industrial sector contributed to the strong growth at the beginning of the year. Foreign trade increased, as did spending by private households and uh, the state. However, investment fell. Service industries were strong across the board, with retail, public transport and transport and uh, healthcare performing well, said Statistics Authority Chief Liz McCown. The automotive industry also had a good quarter, only the construction sector continues to weaken. And the prospects for the next few months are also improving. The Bank of England has just raised its forecast for economic growth this year. And according to this, gross domestic product this year will rise by 0.5%, that's twice as much as expected in February. The central bank itself could provide fresh impetus for the economy in view of falling inflation. It is heading for its first interest rate cut in more than four years. The British inflation rate fell to 3.2% in March. That's the lowest level in two and a half years. The monetary authorities are aiming for a value of 2%. We expect it to be close to the target in the coming months, said uh, central bank chief Andrew Bailey. That's encouraging, he said, and as expected, the Bank of England left its key interest at the rate at the moment at 5.25%, which is still the highest level since 2008. But at the same time, Bailey was optimistic that things are moving in the right direction. He believes a first interest rate cut is possible as early as June. That is neither impossible nor a fait accompli, he said. So far, the markets had only been betting on a U-turn in interest rates in August. Here in Germany, economic growth only reached 0.2% in the first quarter. Adjusted for prices, economic output here is still below the value from the final quarter of 2019, the last quarter before the pandemic. And in Great Britain, it's now 1.7% higher, as I said. The main driver of growth was the corporate investment, which rose by 0.9%. The British government saw this as evidence that the generous depreciation options it had introduced for companies were serving their purpose. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak said during an appearance at a Siemens site that uh, the situation was slowly starting to feel better. Confidence is returning both in the economy and across the country, he says. It has undoubtedly been a difficult few years, said the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Jeremy Hunt. But today's growth and the data is evidence that the economy is returning to full health for the first time since the pandemic. However, investments were still 0.6% below the previous year's level. Industrial production rose faster than expected and car production grew for the first six quarter uh, in, a, in a row and this time by 5.7%. And private consumption and government spending also made a positive contribution to growth. 
While much ado will be made about the UK coming out of recession, the more crucial question is what will get growth uh, there and across Europe back above 2%. That was written by James Sproul, UK chief economist at uh, the Handelsbanken, in an initial assessment. Although the data now presented was better than expected, it was still quite far below what was once considered trend growth. The robust growth in the first quarter could represent a turning point. That's at least the opinion of uh, economist Henry Cook of the Japanese financial group MUFG. We do expect growth to weaken somewhat in the second quarter. However, early indicators suggest that the momentum will continue this quarter. The results of the spring survey by the German-British Chamber of Commerce and Industry show that based on the entire British economy, a third of companies now have a positive expectation for the future. This is reflected in their expectations about their own business prospects. More than 45% expect an improvement. More than 40% of companies plan to increase their investment in the UK and hire new employees. The downside of the significant growth is, so to speak, the inflation rate, which at 3.2% is well above that of the Eurozone and also above the central bank's target, which considers only 2% inflation to be appropriate. The Bank of England therefore left the key interest rate at the high level of 5.25%, as I said, at its meeting on Thursday in order to push inflation down to the target value. However, it's they did indeed gave a prospect of, of somewhat looser monetary policy over the course of the year and uh, maybe even in June. But um, I know after saying something about Germany in the middle of the video, I know what's happening in the comment section before even publishing that video. It, even with the Tories and Brexit, it is not that hard to get more growth than Germany with that German government. Our government is like, as if they were Tories only um, with the multiplication factor. They are just fighting among themselves. They don't know where they're going. They seriously are bringing in insecurity to the people's minds with, with, with their actions, which is shown in the polls as well. Um, we are facing the EU elections very soon. I'm, I'm quite looking forward to that one to know how the, the mood in Germany really is. But um, that will be definitely a show of what people are thinking about our current government at the moment. And they are doing a lot on a lot of fighting grounds. But they have not brought anything to work on growth. And Germany is a country that came through a lot of problems very well. And that includes the, the, the pandemic. But you have to have really economical expertise somewhere in the leadership if this works. And uh, there's no, no surprise that the, the governing parties in Germany are now having those poll results and we will know we will see what effect that will have in, in the EU elections as well in Germany. But um, it's still given a boost to the right wingers um, and, and that's what, what angers me the most because uh, unfortunately we will see a stronger result for them, but it's homemade. If people are not satisfied with our government and look at the poll numbers for the government as a whole, then they tend to turn to the extreme. And that is something that is not good. And Germany could do much better with a different government, I'm quite sure. Nevertheless, if you want to know more, the next video is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.